Okay, so today we're going to talk about parallel lines. What are some of the things we know about parallel lines? They have the same slope. What else do we know about parallel lines? Same slope, just like I said, just like James, James, Jameson just said. What else do we know about parallel lines? Never touch, never intersect. It does not make them zero, zero. Sorry, guys. Parallel lines have the same slope. Okay. Yes. Write the equation of the line that is parallel to y equals 2x minus 4 and contains the point 1 comma 3. Okay. So we know that this is the slope, right? Okay. So we know that our new equation is going to look something like y equals 2x minus b. We don't know what that is, but we know it's going to have a 2x. We can find b by using this point. This is your x, this is your y. We're going to substitute it in. 3 equals 2 times 1 minus b. So then we know 3 equals 2 minus, oh, oh wait, plus b. Sorry, this is going to be plus b. Why is it going to be plus b? Go ahead and fix this on your paper. It should be plus b, plus b, plus b. And so what do we know b has to be? 1. One. So the equation is y equals 2x plus 1. Let's graph it and see if that works. To graph it, we're going to start at 1. We're going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. I'm going to go down and up this way so that I don't lose my, I can just connect it easier. I want you to put arrows on your lines. Are these two lines parallel? Yeah. Does it go through the point 1 comma 3? Yeah. Okay. There we go. That's what we do. That's the whole thing. That's the whole kit and caboodle. It makes no sense? No. Okay, let's do another one. Write an equation to the uh, parallel to the line y equals 2 minus 1 third x and contains that point. We know that the slope is here. Don't let the, don't let the moved position trip you up. So we're going to have y equals negative 1 third x plus b. We know, we don't know, this is our new one. You don't understand? Okay. We don't know what B is going to be, so we need to find it out by using these points right here. That's your X, that's your Y. So negative 2 equals negative 1 third X, well, negative 1 third times negative 3 plus B. I'm not putting any multiplication or anything here. It's just you should know by now that when they're right next to each other, that means they're being multiplied. Negative one third times negative three is going to give us one. Do you need to see that? Negative one third times three. We're going to put that over one because we're going to multiply fractions. It makes it easier. So we have 1 times 3 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, a po two negative signs, so that's going to be a positive 1 is your answer. 
So then we have negative 2 equals 1 plus b. If you need to do this step and you don't see it in your head, that's quite all right. We're going to subtract 1 here. We're going to subtract 1 there. We'll have negative 3 equals b. So our equation is y equals negative one-third x minus three. Wait, what, like, what does b stand for? What does b stand for? Yeah. B is the y-intercept. Right. And that's where it starts. So we're going to check this by graphing it. We're going to start at negative three. One, two, three. And the slope is negative one-third, so we're going to go down one to the right, one, two, three. Down one, one, two, oh, we're going off. Okay, so let's go up one, left, one, two, three, one, one, two. Okay, so we're off this graph both ways. Oh, that's a terrible line. This is Cummings. But... Do they pretty much look parallel? Yeah. We know they are because they have the same slope. And does it go through the point negative 3 comma negative 2? No. Yes. yes. So, this is how you are, to, you are to write a parallel line given slope intercept and a point. On the next pack page, let's talk about what happens if we're not in slope-intercept form. If we're not in slope-intercept form, we have to find the slope. How do we find the slope? We need to take this equation and put it into the form y equals mx plus b. So to do that, the first thing we're going to do is write it out. 3x plus 2y equals 6. We're going to subtract 3y here and subtract 3y here. 3x. Woo! Anyone see, anyone questioning how I got this negative 3x plus 6? Okay. Divide by 2, divide by 2, divide by 2, and we'll have y equals negative 3 halves x plus 3. So we know that this is our new slope. And so now we're just like the other ones. Now we're just like we have the y equals mx plus b. We know that this is our new slope. So our new equation is going to have y equals negative 2 thirds x plus b. Oh yeah, 3 halves. Thank you. We're going to use the point to find out what our b is. x, y, so negative 2 equals negative 3 over 2 times 2 plus b. Negative 3 times 2, negative 3 times 2 is negative 6, negative 6 divided by 2 is going to give us negative 3 plus b yeah. equals negative 2. Add 3 to both sides, and 1 equals B. So then we're going to have Y equals negative 3 over 2 X plus 1. We'll finish this and then we'll go to confession. We're going to graph this. 
To graph this, we're going to start at 1. We're going to go down 3 over 2, down 1, 2, 3, over 1, 2, down 3, 1, 2, 3, over 2. So, by looking at this, we can see that yes, they are parallel. And yes, it goes to the point 2, comma, negative 2. Later on this afternoon, during my planning, I'll go through this one, and I'll go through these two. These two are what happens when your lines are parallel, I mean when your lines are um, horizontal or vertical. So I will give you examples on how to do that tonight. Okay? <laughs> and your homework tonight will be... these eight problems. PP, parallel perpendicular 3, parallel perpendicular, oh, on the video you can't see this. PP3, parallel perpendicular 3, parallel perpendicular 4. So there's eight problems for you to do tonight, all like the ones we did just now. Tomorrow we'll do perpendicular lines, and we'll have a test later on this week.